Good evening. Um, <clears throat> I grew up in Lowell First Church of the Nazarene. Um, as a baby, I was brought to the church, and like some of the others have said, um, you know, every service, and I think we closed the church, you know, turned off the lights every time. <laughs> and, um, but it wasn't this church. <laughs> um, I, don't th I don't think there's anyone here who attended Lowell First Church when it was done fifth, on, on First Street. But, um, but that's where it was. <clears throat> and um, it, was, it was a great time there. And I actually got started in my career there because as a teenager, I was asked to teach a Sunday school class and teach in VBS. And that's been my career, yeah, is teaching. And so, um, like some of the others have said about um, tithing, my parents, we never had very much, but, um, well, you know, they taught me about tithing. And um, when, we got when I got married, um, my husband and I talked about it, and he agreed that we would tithe. And um, one time a pastor, um, well, we had, we had left Lowell. We were asked to go to Maynard to start the church in Maynard. And, um, and one of the pastors there said that children hear um, parents arguing about tithing. And I said, well, we never uh, argue about it. It's the top of the list of, ch of bills every month. And so we don't even have to discuss it because it's just an automatic. But um, I ag agree with what others have been saying about you cannot outgive the Lord. And he just gives back so much to us. And um, my husband was a teacher also, but then he decided he wanted to have his own business. And so we agreed that that was okay. But, you know, times were rough and um, sometimes we didn't have very much money, but we would st I would still tithe. And um, it was amazing how, okay, there's not enough money to pay the bills. But anyway, they got paid somehow. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe God's a, a magician, I don't know. But anyway, what has happened in my life with the teaching is to me something amazing. And it, I said so I could write a book and say um, how much I can see the hand of God in my life. Because without even applying, somebody, they needed a teacher um, at UMass Lowell at the time. And um, I got a call asking if I would be interested. And um, I said, how much time do I have to, for, to give you the answer? Um, well, not very much, because <laughs> they needed me right away. And um, so I talked to my husband, and I you know, said I would, I would take the job. And that job lasted for 10 years. And then um, it was over. <laughs> and then I got a call from ENC asking me to teach there. And you know, I didn't apply. <laughs> I did have to give them my resume later on, <laughs> but um, that year that I was offered the job at ENC, my second daughter was going to go to, go to ENC. The other one was already there, and, uh, and I felt like, oh, is that fair to her? She's going in as a freshman to have her mother be there now as a, as a professor, and um, so we talked about it. She's, oh, no, Mom, you've got to do it. I know you want to do it. <laughs> and so anyway, I did. And that job lasted for a while. Uh, well, no, it was a, a year because somebody was on sabbatical. So somebody else said, if you're still available, I'll take a sabbatical. And so that was for one semester, though. But UMass Lowell called me back for the semester that I was free for just one semester. And so then... Um, where they were starting the LEAD program, and I was asked to be an administrator in that. And then I taught in that. And I mean, it's just amazing how much God has been so faithful, and um, I just praise him for that. My life hasn't always been a bed of roses. There have been bad times, and I certainly was rebellious at times, 
but I praise God that he got a hold of my heart and uh, I just give him all the praise. <laughs>